one question about the Flynn effect. What is it? Are humans getting smarter over the years, over the decades, over the centuries? The Flynn effect is James Flynn, who passed away about a year ago, uh, published a, uh, a set of analyses uh, going back a couple of decades uh, when he first noticed this, that IQ scores, when you looked uh, over the years, seemed to be drifting up. Mm-hmm. Now, this was not unknown to the people who make the test because they renorm the test periodically, and they have to renorm the test periodically because what 10 items correct meant relative to other people 50 years ago is not the same as what 10 items mean relative today. People are getting more things correct. Now, the scores have been drifting up about three points. IQ scores have been drifting up about three points per decade. This is not a personal effect. This is a cohort effect. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not for an individual. But the world. What, what, how do you explain? So, what's the explanation? And, and this has presented intelligence researchers with a great mystery. Two questions. First, is it effect on the fifty percent of the variance that's the G factor, or on the other fifty percent? Mm-hmm. And there's evidence that it is a G factor effect. And second, what on earth causes this? And doesn't this mean intelligence and G-factor cannot be genetic Mm -hmm. because the scale of natural selection is much, much longer than a couple of decades ago? And so it's been used to try to undermine the idea that there can be a genetic influence on intelligence. But certainly it can be the Flynn effect can affect the non-genetic aspects of intelligence because genes account for maybe 50% of the variance, Uh, maybe higher. It could be as high as 80% for adults, but let's just say 50% for discussion. Um, So the the Flynn effect, it's still a mystery. It's still Uh, a mystery. It's still a mystery, although the evidence is coming out. I I told you before I edited a journal on intelligence, and we're doing a special issue in honor of James Flynn. So I'm starting to see papers now on really the latest research on this. Um, I think most people who specialize in this area of trying to understand the Flynn effect uh, are coming to the view based on data that it has to do with advances in nutrition and healthcare. Um, and there's also evidence that the effect is slowing down and possibly reversing. Oh boy. So, so how would nutrition, how, so the nutrition would still be connected to the G factor. So nutrition as it relates to the G factor. So the biology that leads to the intelligence. Yes. That would be the claim. Like, uh, it, it, the, the 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 hypothesis being tested by the research. Yes, and there's some evidence from from infants um, that nutrition has has made a, a, a difference, and so it's not an unreasonable connection. Uh, but does it negate the idea that there's a genetic influence? Not logically at all. So, but it is very interesting. So that if you take an IQ test today. But you normal, but you take the score and use the tables that were available in 1940. You're going to wind up with a much higher IQ number. So, are we really smarter than a couple of generations ago? No, but we might be able to solve problems a little better and make use of our our G because of things like Sesame Street and other curricula in school. More people are going to, 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 to school. Uh, so there are a lot of factors here to disentangle. 